Remnants of the March nor'easter litter Route 1A. Rocks and large boulders, sea debris and floodwaters linger after the storm has passed. First responders and road crews have been working long hours to clear roadways. We work with Homeland Security and Director Plummer's staff as well as the uh, DOT staff and the local uh, district shed. So we have a lot of great cooperation and communication sharing equipment. We even had a private contractor helping us out. Over the last few days, we've spent a significant amount of money bringing uh, additional resources in. But officials say they've been running into some problems specifically with the public. When they perceive that it's safer, you know, that they let their guard down. And today was really scary for both the chief and myself uh, to go around and see the people that are that close to the to, to the waves. Since the storm ended, crowds have been forming along the coast trying to catch a glimpse or take pictures of the rough seas, standing on unsafe seawalls and stopping vehicles in the middle of Ocean Boulevard. Barriers are put up, but they get ignored. Both chiefs say this is adding even more danger to the already hazardous conditions on the roads, and it's delaying the cleanup process. The crews have to wait. Detail officers have to leave their traffic posts to come down, ask the people to move, and then get the operation running again. I think the message to the public is we got to be careful. Uh, we're going to have another high tide tonight, uh, and, you know, things are still dangerous at the seashore. Dangerous indeed. The fire chief says even over the weekend, his team had to rescue someone uh, whose vehicle got trapped in rising waters. Now, as for later on tonight and into tomorrow morning, that's when officials will be watching that high tide roll in. They say if more flooding occurs, they may have to shut down more sections of Ocean Boulevard tomorrow morning. Sometime around there, they'll do a survey of the seawall and check that situation out. They'll also have a briefing with state officials. We're live here in Rye this evening. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.